So I uh, found an article on the internet discussing um, Microsoft's security um, when it was developing Vista and um, they actually had it looked at by uh, a third party company that specializes in security and um, the person on this or the woman on this web page is um, from that company and she talks a bit about the security and um, what it's like and it goes to say it's easy now to look back at Microsoft's Windows Vista and berate the company for the operating system's shortcomings but the truth is far more complex according to one security researcher at the end at the second day of the annual back hat conference here Chris Paget, chief hacker at the security company Recursions Ventures, discussed her independent contracting work for Microsoft on Vista prior to its release for the first time. Before Recursion took on the contract, all members of the team that worked on Vista were made to sign non-disclosure agreements that took five years to expire. So obviously the um, non-disclosure agreement has expired by now. Microsoft hired her team as a final leash measure to verify that the operating system was safe to ship. The move was so unusual for Redmond that the company actually never had done it before, said Paget. There were process and tool improvements. This was the first time that Microsoft brought in an outside team, she said. Her team had to upgrade the hard drive of the test computer that Microsoft sent before they could even install the operating system, she said with a slight incredulous laugh. The process was so atypical for Microsoft that they weren't sure what to expect. They expected us to come in and find nothing. This was the final check. Recursion looked at the kernel code and the user space but was told not to look at legacy code. Microsoft didn't add legacy code vetting until Windows 7, page it said. They got verification, not remediation. She said that her team was so good at finding critical flaws in Vista code that Vista was actually delayed because of one critical bug she found, and another Microsoft employer referred to them as a gang rape because they were beating up on Vista so much. Despite the security problems that Paget and company discovered in Vista, she also had high praise for Microsoft. She discussed Microsoft's bug track system and how Microsoft's own security team had created an extensive lift list of features ranked by risk. Risk, she said, was defined as whether the feature required credentials. If you had to enter a password, like an administrative password, there's a greater risk naturally associated with the feature. So because of Microsoft's hard work on this end, she was able to begin looking at features critically from the beginning of the contract. The experience, she said, showed that by the time Microsoft had far better procedures in place for security vetting than she would have thought otherwise. Paget said at home she's more of a Unix fan and only uses Windows for gaming. I would dearly love to see a oh, Windows Lite with all the unmaintained code <laughs> removed. I'm sure quite a few people would have liked to see uh, Windows Vista Lite as well, actually. <laughs> World leading is entirely appropriate when discussing Microsoft's security procedures, she, she said at the start of her talk. Microsoft's security process is spectacular, and towards the end, she reiterated, re ah, reiterated the point, if security is a process, not a product, Microsoft deserves a lot of credit. Vista was a giant leap in the right direction. So for all those people that think that Microsoft's um, security is poor, well, there's a bit of an article that tends to suggest that with the latest operating systems, you know, the security that they've got um, in place now is actually very good. And I mean, this article as I've read, is coming from someone who was actually a Unix fan, you know, a Unix Linux fan, who was actually praising Microsoft's security and the security process they had in place. So, um, 
that's you know one of the areas where Microsoft really did do well in with Vista. You know, unfortunately, there were quite a few areas where they did didn't do so well in. But um, I think by the time they got around to Service Pack One with Vista, um, a lot of the bugginess and stuff like that was. Um, largely a non-issue and um, I think I actually read a comment in this page somewhere as well let's see if we can find it that pretty much says the same thing um, I think it's this one here just because Windows Vista works fine for you doesn't mean it didn't suck. I work in IT in a major corporation where we deploy tens of thousands of machines and I can say without a doubt that for over a year after it launched Vista was by far the most buggy and unstable OS I've ever had to deal with from a support perspective. Worse than Windows 2000, worse than XP and even worse than the dreaded Windows ME. The main reason was bad drivers but the bad drivers could be from anyone. Intel drivers needed multiple updates, NVIDIA, ATI, you name it. Combine that with the ridiculously slow network performance at launch and the absurd, absurd problem with the Windows display driver management software that basically made having more than 20 windows or separate processes impossible were all support nightmares. Keep in mind, the majority of users didn't experience these these problems, but the ones that did had major problems, and there were 10 times as many of those users compared to any other OS that we ever deployed. At its current service pack level, it's fine. Windows 7 blows it away in every single capacity, but Vista is still fine as it stands by now, but when it launched, it sucked. It sucked hard. So, you know, that's coming from someone who worked in IT, who, you know, is basically saying that <laughs> before the first service pack, it really did suck. But, you know, after they released critical updates, it wasn't actually a bad operating system. And I used it after service pack 1, so... You know, I hadn't. I have. I still, to this day, have no idea how bad it was at the start. But me using it after Service Pack One, you know, I never had a problem with it. Never had any issues with it. I didn't know what all the hype was about. But I guess that you know, that's what's <coughs> what happens sometimes when you're an early adopter with technologies and and software in, partic in particular. Um, when it comes to Microsoft, I never buy anything until <laughs> any piece of software until there's um, a service pack out for it um, for those reasons so I thought I'd just basically share that article with you anyway thanks for watching